authoring blocks from Edge and component block from Bricks. On this video, I will show you what is the difference between these two ways to build and make blocks on WordPress with these two builders, these modern builders on WordPress, and what is the workflow to do that and what is the best for you. And you will have a good conclusion on this uh, end of the video. And remember, if you want to take HWP or Bricks WP, I will give you the link uh, on the description to take advantage of these modern builders if you want to buy these two ones, or maybe you have already have this tool. So this video uh, will help you to understand the difference between these two builders. And remember, if you want join to the waitlist of Bricks Builder 2.0 course and the course of HWP that I will do on 2026. You can join uh, to the waitlist in the description and the first comment on this video. Okay, different approach. Bricks and HWP have different approach to build and create these blocks uh, inside of WordPress using these builders. Okay. First, I will show you uh, what how, how to look these blocks. Okay, right. So you, uh, this is the result that I, I I made for you to show you what is the result, the final result of a block from from these two, and I will show you directly on the editor this difference when when we are working to not bore you. So the first thing that you need need to know on HWP is that uh, this thing that they call it authoring block, the, the way that how to edge work is that they create automatically the blocks inside your Gutenberg editor, your blog editor, when you are working on HWP, you don't need do extra steps to show on uh, the block editor, right? So for example, I will create here an, a section, okay, with a heading, and this is my heading block to show you how to how to look that. So with that, I already have my block created, okay, here on here on the block editor. So you don't need a uh, do extra step to make this possible. And automatically you will have uh, this, this block to edit and change, change my text. And this will be bidirectional when, when you create the block from, from edge to Gutenberg, not from Gutenberg to edge. This way doesn't work works from edge to Gutenberg, right? So uh, this is the first thing and this will be created automatically. Also, you have the capability to change the, the HTML tag from here, right? And uh, inspect the, this, this code, okay? So if you see that I changed the, the code, you will see on front end too that the text was changed and also on the editor, uh, on edge is changed. Okay, it's very directional, but it doesn't work if you create the blocks directly on on the block editor. For example, if I do that, hello, for example, <clears throat> and go to edit with edge, you will see that this is not showing uh, on on the edge editor. So this you you need to do, you must to do this on edge first and later you can modify from 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 Gutenberg, right? So this is the first thing that you, you can do from HWP. You 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 can create the blocks and automatically will show you on the block editor. Um, in another hand, Bricks Builder doesn't work like that. The thing that you must to do to implement this this block, you 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 must to add, for example, a section. Okay, create your heading, 
for example, add your heading, add your classes, this extra step, but it doesn't matter. And you can put a block heading, that, and you must to create, you need to put right click here, save as a, comp as a component, sorry, and uh, save your section, section example, for block, for example, and you will have that save and also you need to use this feature from here when you are on the component okay you need to go to the component use this tool icon to edit your component and this icon from wordpress you can click here and click use in block editor and this will enable your and uh, your component on the block editor so if you click enable right you will go here to edit on WordPress and let's check what's happened. If you look to your your block uh, as a component, you can find example section example block and you will see that is this is your block. Some some stuff here. Uh, you will see that uh, you can edit this block uh, heading text if you don't uh, allow on bricks that how to allow that remember if you are in hwp if you create that this will create your block automatically on edge okay and you can edit the text automatically too from here or from here but in bricks builder this need an extra step you need to go to the edit with bricks and go to here edit your component go to the heading okay and save this uh, as a text property right you will you you must to create here and add your text heading for example create link this component save you will see that the not not is not showing anything from here because i don't put anything and you need to go to back instance right and put hello for example if you save and go again to the edit uh, to the block editor you will see that if you add again the section example you can put here your block right so <clears throat> If you notice something when I do that, okay, I, I do that on bricks, then my, my block is not showing anymore. Uh, so it's showing, but need to change the level here. Hello, to showing too, because we change the, the property, okay? And now I need to fill out. Also, if you see, we have this hello, we have this one separately from this one. This is not a uh, bidirectional, right? We are managing this from here, from yeah, this three from here, but these two are in the bricks editor. It's not bidirectional. This is working on the editor. So if we delete these ones here and reload the page here you will see that this is not deleted okay because is this is now is working on the block editor so uh, these blocks on bricks not work on the same way that it's doing on hwp how i think this kind of blocks well um on bricks builder you you need to create a component at first and later bricks will create you okay something like reusable block okay in the in your editor so you can reuse this block on your post for example this is a good thing to to have in mind for example maybe you need to do a final set in all the the blog post and you don't wanna edit by css this blocks uh, these blocks and you wanna you wanna style this 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 element directly on your bricks 
So you can create your custom blocks directly on Bricks and insert as a component, as a reusable block, okay, to your uh, your your post on Gutenberg, right? This this works like that. This works especially if you want build the site from Bricks Editor, but also give you the the possibility to the customer edit them. For example, a uh, good good thing to to do is I don't know I build the entire site directly on Bricks, okay? For example, and create this as a component to fill out and put on the home page these blocks uh, directly on the page is something that maybe is good sometimes but maybe with acf you you can you can do that and manage this better but for some blocks will work good for example in the blog post and this stuff in the other hand uh, the authoring block on hwp when you work this you, you don't need to do anything to create these blocks, okay? And automatically you will see these blocks inside your WordPress editor and you can edit them from uh, the content directly, clicking directly on the on these pages, okay? And by directional, uh, it works too. Another stuff on HWP is that when you, I, I will show you that this element I create on both, okay? On Bricks Builder, and also on HWP was with the way that I show you before H <coughs> sorry bricks I create these these um, elements and create this component and later uh, register all the stuff and manage this uh, with, with 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 these uh, properties from from bricks right and in H when you create a component uh, H do something good that put this element component directly on your patterns right this works as a, a pattern blocks so if you add directly and look your CTA banner from here you can you can use that how to do that okay you need to go to edit with edge maybe if you want a tutorial about how to create component on edge let me know by the way but you need to create a component at first okay here this is a component for example if we want to create a new one you need to create here from right click create a component let's put the name of the component my example component for example the description this is a component to show tutorial right and later you can add these props right uh, when you add these props works similar to to bricks connect property means uh, add these props problems right it's the same thing well you can select text boolean select media etc we will use text so far and later you can uh, link this property for example i don't know a uh, heading sample prop to do something and later we must to go let me close that okay you need to go here populate the file and this is the way to do that so now if you go and click exit you will go out from the component right and you can change this property hello world right and save okay this works as a, a component from bricks right so now if you go back to the editor and check what's happening here this is the component but also is a pattern here my example component right change my text and you can change the property my text property okay so this is the way how to works these two there are different ways to to do to manage that maybe 
I prefer the way that manage this from Edge because this create automatically the blocks and also give you the capability to create a, a component I use as a pattern block, right? But so far, Brix have has this option and uh, this is good for do some custom blocks that uh, you you need to do it for some some reason right uh, and not doing by yourself with custom css or, or custom yeah you with, with custom css on the uh, block block editor so let me know what do you think about that and remember, if you like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel and see you soon on our next video. Bye bye.